do a quick overview of a question that comes up from time to time, which is what do you do if you get a message um, on the screen, uh, say, on your monitor saying something like um, outrange or um, uh, no, you know, th that type of uh, thing where it can't, uh, it's indicating it can't display the image. Normally it means that the video resolution coming from your DVR is not compatible with the monitor. Now on some monitors it's possible to come along and actually change this. Um, so what I'm going to do in this one here is I'm just going to give, give a quick example on the IQ CCTV and uh, how you can change the resolution on it. Now if you come along and you have it and it won't display, you'll obviously need a second monitor. Uh, you need to get a lens temporarily, take it off the PC or something and get the picture to run over via your VGA cable over to it. Uh, change it to a setting that will work and then try it on the monitor it won't work. So let's just come along here and hit, go into the main menu. I come down to setup and I go into uh, video audio and it comes along and the monitor resolution here is 1024 to uh, 768. So we can set it up or down. Well, if we're changing it on the DVR and it's a scenario where we believe the monitor is not capable of displaying it uh, at the current higher resolution, generally what we'd be trying to do is come along for a lower resolution and apply it here on the rest of it. Um, now, depending on the type of DVR you have and things like that, um, it, it might be, we'll say, on PCs, etc., where you uh, apply it, it gives you 20 seconds and if you don't save it during that uh, period of time, it presumes the screen's gone blank on you and uh, it just goes back to the previous settings on it. So you need to be a little bit cautious there on this one here. Now this one here I'll just apply. Um, save it, please wait. And uh, uh, save successfully. Uh, restart system, okay. And uh, it's just restarting here, please wait. So um, you can just see the general thing here anyway, and if the picture suddenly popped up on the thing, then you give a better idea in the whole thing. Here in this particular example, it's coming along and it's just rebooting the DRS. Uh, so that's it anyway, we see the monitor is working here again on it. So that, that's it anyway, just a quick overview, basically two ways of solving it, just it on the monitor and the DVR, and here we're just covering the topic of how to adjust it on the DVR.